morning. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, heat cycles and periodically rechecking some of your bolts that pertain to areas where uh, heat expansion and contraction is at play. So some of those places are your cylinder bolts, say after a rebuild or after the cylinder's been off anyhow, and uh, muffler bolts. <clears throat> so um, definitely using a thread locker does help, um, but it always seems like there's kind of that sweet spot where uh, sometimes it takes two or three heat cycles for those um, bolts to actually stay kind of locked or engaged. And uh, thread locker does respond a bit to heat. Uh, some of you guys that are a little bit mechanically inclined know that uh, stuck bolts or bolts with thread locker on them. Um, you usually need to preheat those to be able to actually get that adhesive to soften up. Um, otherwise you'll strip the heads off the bolts or potentially even break the bolts. So um, anyways, this 390 that, uh, that I've got here, um, it was a uh, rush job, so I didn't end up getting to run it as much as I'd prefer to. I did uh, about three heat cycles with it here, and I did a couple cuts. But uh, anyways, I'd uh, really ask the guy to make sure that uh, he did check his bolts <clears throat> on the cylinder just to make sure. Anyways, uh, apparently it did end up uh, developing some issues when he was uh, over at the coal port uh, falling for their expansion or something. And uh, anyways, I started going through it this morning here and uh, I'll throw the rest of the video in, but uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I don't need to uh, do a pressure and back test on it because uh, the lower cylinder bolt on the, well, the cylinder bolt on the um, clutch side at the front by the muffler is uh, totally gone. I just uh, gone around them with a T-handle this morning while I cleaned it up and was um, checking stuff and I couldn't feel the bolt head down there and I thought maybe it was plugged up with something and then uh, trying to look down there with the headlamp and stuff and anyway it looked like it was gone and then when I pulled the muffler off there it was gone so uh yeah if you take a look in the video as well you'll just uh hopefully be able to see how abrasive that uh coal dust is um some of those environments like that are working on forest fires it's not just dusty conditions it's awful and uh anyways with this one here you can really see how it uh kind of accumulated because a lot of that shit was actually getting through the filter and uh anyway it's uh stuck on the exhaust port and uh yeah it's just like a super fine sandpaper kind of stuff so anyway i uh, don't mean to ramble on but i just thought i'd pass that on a uh, little bit of uh i guess due diligence uh does go a long way so is what it is anyway tear her down and doesn't look like anything abnormal happened to the piston other than just the uh abrasiveness from that coal dust so i might end up having to throw some rings in it while the cylinder's off but uh anyway it doesn't look like uh he ran her lean and seized it it just uh 
must have been an air leak. He said he was having trouble getting it to start or stay running. So um, I think this time he shut her down and called it. But uh, the other thing I noticed was uh, that little <coughs> wire on the plug cap had uh, broke off too. So anyway, thanks. Morning, it's Jim. It's uh, Thursday. I think it's around April the 11th. Uh, kind of down with something for the whole week here. I think I actually ended up uh, not wearing the respirator when I was doing a bunch of grinding last week and some welding. And I should have. Anyway, I uh, got a 390 back in from a guy that was uh, using it out at a coal port where they load the coal from the trains onto the ships and uh all that coal dust coats all the vegetation out there in northern bc on the coast and anyway <clears throat> his saw quit running so uh just checking it over here i'm gonna do a pressure and vac test on it but uh first thing i found here was the uh little wire coil over the spark plug from the cap is uh broken off so that definitely has an impact on it and uh just tried to clean her up i end up i hate using very harsh uh chemicals for cleaning but uh man this thing is just coated and that stuff is just gross it uh ends almost ends up almost like a Kind of an oily silk dirt kind of stuff there is just really brutal so yeah and it's uh, just about like sandpaper really abrasive stuff too i mean diamonds are made from it i guess so uh anyway you can imagine with that ripping around any of the moving parts uh it just uh is hard on everything, I'm sure. So uh, we'll see what uh, what I can come up with here. But uh, anyway, just wanted to say hi. Sorry, I didn't post nothing the last couple of days. Kind of been uh, getting some of the vehicles, uh, my own vehicles, kind of ready for uh, the season here. I go back to tree work uh, starting Monday. So anyway, have a good one. <coughs> Can you see what's missing here? How about that cylinder bolt?